Hi everyone, welcome back. So for this video, I'll be showing you how to use StatCrunch to get uh, critical values for t-tests, uh, one sample. Okay, so <clears throat> for this one, we'll actually need to use the t-calculator. So that's in stat calculators t. Okay, so the thing about um, finding the critical values for uh, t-tests is that they got this thing here called degrees of freedom. That's what the DF stands for. Now for a one sample test, the degrees of freedom will be the sample size minus one. So just so happens that my sample size is 11, so my degrees of freedom is 10. Okay, now I got a left tail test here. So as you can see from the picture, I got the correct side shaded. And I'll also put in my alpha value right here. Okay, and I'll click on Compute, and that is my critical value there. Okay, so I'll also load up another example here with a two-tail test. Okay, and again, from the alternative hypothesis, that's how we tell uh, not equals is a two-tail test. So. It's going to be kind of similar to the um, two-tail uh, test for the Z test. Um, the only difference is we have the degrees of freedom. So again, because you can't find the area outside, um, you'll have to do between. So we'll do our degrees of freedom again. So here I got a random sample of 10. So my degrees of freedom would be 9 and minus 1. And here I'll have to put in one minus alpha because we're doing between and not outside. Okay, and there's my critical values there. And that's really all there is to it. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my next video.